Hi everyone and welcome to another video of supersysadmin.com. Today we will cover the various ways how you can get access to the Active Directory PowerShell module. We will show how to install the module on both Microsoft Client and Server operating systems. For both we will use the latest version which has been fully released at this moment. So for the client we will be using Windows 10 Pro and for the server we will be using Windows Server 2012 R2. Let's first start on our domain controller. This is the easiest as we do not really have to do anything. When installing the Active Directory Domain Services role, the Active Directory PowerShell module automatically gets installed with it. So let's open a PowerShell session. If we type get module all, we can see that the Active Directory module is not yet loaded. But if we type get module list available, we do see that the module is installed. Until PowerShell 2, we had to manually import each module. Since PowerShell 3, however, a module is dynamically loaded once you use a commandlet from it. So let's do get ad user filter sam account name equals super sys admin. So as you can see, it just works. If you now do again get module all, you can see it has been loaded automatically. So let's jump to another 2012 R2 server, which is just a member server. Let's again open a PowerShell session. And since we'll be installing some components, we'll run it as an administrator. If we again run and get module list available, we can see that the Active Directory module is not installed. In order to get access to the Active Directory module, we could install the Active Directory domain services role. But since the server will not become a domain controller, this is a bit overkill. Instead, we'll install the AD PowerShell RSAT tool. If we do get Windows feature, name RSAT star, we can see that there is a specific one for the Active Directory PowerShell module. So we can do install Windows feature, name, RSAT, AD, PowerShell. If we now run again, get module list available, you can see that the Active Directory module is now installed. So let's test again, get AD user, filter, Sam account name equals super sysadmin. So there you have it. So let's now jump to our Windows 10 workstation. On client operating systems, the binaries to manage servers are not available. So we first need to download and install them. If you Google for Windows 10 RSAT, Normally the first result is the correct one. So we click download. And since our Windows 10 Pro is a 64-bit, we'll select the X64 variant. Next. Let's just wait for our download to finish. So let's run our file. We click yes. We'll accept the license terms. Now just wait until the installation is finished. So we'll need to restart our computer. Let's log on again. So if you now have a look in programs and features, and then click turn Windows features on or off,
we can see that the remote server administration tools have been installed. If we expand a bit, you can see that it installed all the tools you might need to manage Windows Server. You can simply uncheck the ones you don't need. For our tutorial, we only care for the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell and we can see it has been installed. So let's start a PowerShell session and do get module list available. And as you can see, the Active Directory module is now available. So let's test again. Get a user filter sam account name equals supersys admin. So there you have it. And finally, I would also like to show you how you can import the Active Directory module from a remote system. This can be done from both a client or a server. For this example, I will show you how to import the module from our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller to our Windows 10 client. We will start our PowerShell session as an administrator as we need to modify our execution policy. For this to work, it needs to be at least remote signed. If we check our current execution policy with get execution policy, we can see that it is currently restricted. So we can change that with set execution policy execution policy remote signed force and if we verify we can see that the policy is now remote signed so first we'll create a ps session to our domain controller and save it to a variable so we do dc session equals new ps session computer name ssa addc01 Next, we will import the Active Directory module in the session we just created. So we do invoke command, command import module, name Active Directory, and we will select our session we just created. And now we just need to import our session in our local PowerShell session. So we do import PS session, session DC session, module active directory. And we will also add a prefix to our commandlets to distinguish between local and remote commands. So we will do here DC as a prefix and our module is now available so let's test again and keeping in mind that we have to use the prefix we just defined so we'll do get dcad user filter sam account name equals supersys admin so there you have it. So that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you learned something and if you liked it, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit us at supersysadmin.com for more tips, tutorials and scripts. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye bye.